It's Indiana in the morning, and it's AM 1160 WCCS 101.1 FM. And I was looking out the window this morning, Mr. Fairman, and I saw a uh, borough truck riding up slowly up the street, and there was a young lady there uh, in the bed of that truck, and she had American flags in her hands, and she was placing them on the poles, the brand-new poles here in downtown Indiana. So good morning to you. I guess we owe a a great debt of gratitude to one of our wonderful organizations for those flags. Yes, we do. American Legion Post 141 uh, donated the money to purchase the flags that adorn Indiana Borough from 5th Street through 10th Street on Philadelphia Street. Uh, Almost There's 80-plus flags out there right now. Both sides of the street. They look wonderful. Yes, they do. Wow. I I like them a lot. Uh, They're they're. Well, they look like they're weather resistant, maybe more so than some of the flags that have been uh, in the past. They, they are a quality flag that is American made. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So, yes, our thanks to the American Legion for that. Uh, yes, was, that was very, very nice of them to to donate the the money to hang hang the flags and adorn our town. Oh. Is that a surprise? They were. I mean, did they yes, call you I, out actually, of the blue? It, it was a little bit of a process, but um, I just getting through the right channels and getting to the right people, and they were more than willing to donate the flags, and I, it's greatly appreciated. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, as long as I have you here, and that's wonderful that they're in in time for Memorial Day. Yes. Um, uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, some of the things that are going to be happening down in Indiana Borough. You've got a pretty extensive schedule coming up here, don't you? Yes, we do. we got additional paving this year, which I'm excited about. Um, we should be almost $400,000 worth of asphalt put down this summer. Um, I always write a contract that it's after school is um, mm-hmm. done for the year and have it completed before school starts. That's always our plan. Sometimes you've determined it's a little later. The, yeah, you've determined the streets and everything. I have determined the streets um, that's out for one. One has um, been awarded to Quaker Sales. Um, the other bid has been advertised, and we'll be opening it up a uh, week after next. Mm-hmm. And so the streets uh, have You've determined them. Have you announced them yet? Yes, I announced them. Um, if I can remember them off the top of my head. Uh, 3rd Street, Water Street first from 4th Street to 7th Street. That'll tie in to my last paving project, which went from 7th to 15th. Um, north 3rd Street from a seam that's handy to Anderson Avenue, north to the dead end. I will pick up Anderson and all of when I'm up there, when they're up there paving. Then we'll move to the south side of um, 3rd Street, and 3rd Street will pave it down to Grant, make the turn, and get down to 4th. That'll take care of everything on the south side of 3rd Street. We'll be doing Locust Street from the Borough Line to 4th Street. We'll be doing Washington Street from the Borough Line to 4th Street. We'll be doing the 400 block of Gompers Avenue. That's my first paving project. I'm so very impressed that you're remembering this off the top of your head. Uh, the second one that just went off to bid will be Second Street from Oak Street to School Street. It'll tie back to Washington Street, Gabriel Avenue, 400 block of Gompers Avenue, Eighth Street from Water Street to School Street, School Street from Sixth Street to Oakland Avenue. And the 700 block of Gompers Avenue. That's my second paving project, providing that the numbers come in right. Uh, we may have to pair something back there. Yeah. Um, then Water Company is moving into town, um, getting started. Actually, I just got the one calls yesterday. Water Company will be working on Church Street. Then we're replacing Water Line from Foundry Avenue to Carpenter Avenue on Church Street. That's why I chose not to pave Church Street. Okay. Um, They'll be doing some on 2nd Street. Um, I just spoke with um, the manager for a water company, and I need to get – they need to get that 329 feet of water line replaced on 2nd Street prior to me paving that. Mm -hmm. Um, So that's what's going on in the borough. We're currently painting crosswalks. The yellow curb has been done. As I always say, please be cautious of my – crew out there working in, in any construction crew for that matter that's working on the streets this time of the year 
You have um, sewage treatment plant work? I, I have sewage treatment plant work. We've already had a pre-construction meeting down there. There's $1.8 million going into the sewage treatment plant, and that's to replace our belt filter press with the rotary fan press. That'll be over the course of the summer? That will be over the course of the summer. Um, there's a lead time on the on the press, but they'll be doing all their preliminary work to replace that press. Um reason doing it in the summer our flows are much lower because of uh, population decline with IUP being out um, that's why we choose to do it in, in those months mm-hmm. then we'll move to the community center building which is um, the envelope meaning windows doors roof so mm-hmm. on is out for bid um, if it's not out our engineers will be putting it out this week that's the building across the street yeah. the free so, library and the Jimmy Stewart Museum correct Correct, and that will be starting hopefully this summer. We're hoping for like a July, August start in mm-hmm. there for that. Yeah. So yeah, it's rather a busy year for Indiana. Yes. <laughs> maybe a, maybe a little bit more happening uh, in terms of infrastructure this summer than in some previous years. Uh, we had segment C that I'm glad yeah, it's we, over with before we started something else. We had streetscape. <laughs> yeah, let's let's not forget about that. Streetscape <laughs> was was quite ambitious. Uh, I, I noted that uh, downtown Indiana put out a note the other day about uh, a couple of bridge projects that are coming a couple of years down the road that will affect Philadelphia Street. 2019-2020, uh, um, we have a meeting next week on the the other two bridges that are just adjacent to the borough, which is on Carter Avenue down by Mack Park, and the one across from the KCAC, those bridges, um, we have a meeting at the borough office, a public meeting that will be happening next week. Yeah. And so there will be four bridges with, with those two, the one at down at 11th Street by Bruno's and the one by on um, by Sheets on – it's actually Cherry Avenue. But, mm-hmm. you know. That's, you know, that's interesting. Uh, we don't really realize – often that we're driving over a bridge no uh, especially the one down by bruno's you don't don't realize that's knows? a bridge yeah who 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 even knows that that is a bridge that yeah. you're driving over it just looks like the continuation of philadelphia street but yeah Correct. and i assume that uh, they're going to do box culverts for those uh i know the cherry avenue one is the one down 11th street has some challenges i don't know if that's going to be a box culvert or not okay all right well, very good. And thanks again to the American Legion for the flags. They oh, won't thank you great. very much. Yeah, they look great. Um, it, it sets a board town, adorns it for the holidays. Absolutely. Absolutely does. Thank you, David, for thank, coming thank in. Thank you for the time. Dave Fairman, Indiana Borough. They are hard at work already this